Unfortunately, my go-to black ash in the Madison area has fallen down. This is Fraxinus nigra, and it is the second least common ash in the state, much less common than Fraxinus pennsylvanica, the, the green ash, and Fraxinus americana, the white ash. And part of that is due to its habitat preference. Black ash prefers to have its feet wet. So it grows along um, these marsh edges and also in any kind of very wet woods. Let's talk about how you can tell black ash apart from the other ashes. Like all Fraxinus, the leaves are opposite and pinnately compound. But in black ash, there are seven to 11 leaflets. Both green ash and white ash have five to seven leaflets. The leaflets, are sessile, meaning they don't really have petiolules. And where the leaflets join, there's sort of a reddish gray marking, which is actually a tuft of hairs. Like all Fraxinus, the fruits are a single samara, but in black ash, they are oval in shape rather than teardropped with a flattened seed. The bark of the black ash is quite unique in that it's very soft and corky. You can actually push on it, even on the larger trunks. You'll normally find stands of tall black ash trees growing on wet soils. This one has broken off recently. Luckily, there's a seedling growing right next to it that will hopefully soon replace it. 